Thanks for tuning in, everyone, to Game 3 of an exciting playoff series here. Allie, it's all yours. Well, guys, Paul George heard the critics. He said the only way I could respond was to get better, to come back with a vengeance. I didn't like that people saw weakness. I well, he's playing at a tremendous level, Allie. Thanks for that. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting lineup. And it's Baller in at the point. And for the Clippers. And it's Slim in at the five spot. Taking a look at the Clippers. Tip-off goes to the Clippers. Here's Magician. Into the lane. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Here's Drew. Not loose. All by himself. Here's Magician. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. <laughs> they began the play with active defense, and they finished the play with active offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward for good possession all the way around. Here's Drew. Clock at six. Back to O'Neal. Slim with the rebound. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Out left to the wing. Here's ABC. And that one's good. Magician. He's got six. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. Here's Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. He flashes to the rim and is met with no resistance. Pass to Slim. Let's it go. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Incredible. He will hit that from another time zone. The Clippers have gone three of four to get things going. Oh, there's the alley. Throw it down on the lob. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Pass to the beast. Last break. Here come the Lakers. Here's the prodigy. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. He took the contact and had an opportunity to drain it. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Lakers. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Man, he's checked in for the Clippers. Over to the left wing. Here's the beast. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. You know, not the smartest play a defender can make there. And he's good on the first of three. And the Clippers making a change here. Junior's checked in. Good on the second one. And he nails the third. A big fella with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. And the Lakers making a change here. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Pass to James. And good, as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. James so quick there on the draw. You got to know he's ready to shoot as soon as he's going to catch that pass. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting them. Here's Jordan. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here.
A minute 31 left to play in the first. Pack. Three-pointer. No good. The Clippers in the lead. On the wing man. Rebounded by LeBron. Shot is up. And it comes off the front of the rim. The Clippers have gone four of six in the first quarter. Here's the kid. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. The Lakers have gone five of nine from the floor. Pass to G. The ball's knocked loose. The drive by man. And he jams it home with authority. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Inside. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. They're locked in and focused on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Every trip up the floor gets more and more important. Yes, indeed. They badly want to stop competing here. That's going to be over and back. Not watching the line on that one. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. And here's Junior. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. The kid. Here's Lee. Back to Junior. Here's ABC. Tipped. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers closing out the quarter ahead by 11 points. They've been aggressive in transition and find themselves in front. All right, we'll get back to the action after this. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting defenders on their heels. They've also racked up a ton of points off of turnovers so far in tonight's game. They've got Junior, and it's the kid in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for the Clippers starting the second. Who poked away. Junior outside. The three. The shot that time, not on target. Now the Lakers take it the other way. Pass to James. And it's James with the jam. Yeah, I'm not going to give LeBron any more space, but certainly like to see him dunk. How about that throwdown? Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Fires the three. Fires in the triple. James has got five points in the quarter. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that mm, Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. And about a minute gone in the second quarter. Down low. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with Alan Grant. Timeout called. The Clippers. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. You've got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. And it's a completely new group for the Clippers. Here's the chosen one. Off the mark there with a three. The Lakers have gone three of three to begin the second. L.A. Number 14, Benz's first pitching foul. First team foul. Pass to Drew. Wide open look. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Deflected! It's a three-on-three -three fast break. And it's out of bounds. The Lakers able to retain possession here. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. The Lakers able to keep the possession. for 
the lob. Nice catch and finish on the lob. Oh, man, take a look at that one. Just a textbook alley -oop. Beautifully done. He served it up on a... Oh, oh, oh man. Oh! VA, I'm not sure he should be flaunting around the rim like that with this game so close. Oh, it's risky, but it sure did look good. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Pass to ABC. Takes a three. Gets the three ball to go. He has seven. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Here's Pack. Out to the right wing. Here's O'Neal. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11. Here's ABC. Fast break. Here come the Lakers for the finish. The chosen one grabs the board. Trying to show off for the fans and give them their money's worth. Just couldn't finish. If you're only two players in the league. You can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. That's tipped. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Pass to Slim. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And now it's a nine-point clipper lead. Here's Pack. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. The Lakers making a switch here. Jordan's checked in. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers. A minute 20 left to play in the first half of basketball. Here's O'Neal. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. O'Neal's got his second basket on the night. To the paint. Money. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hop, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Oh, a big finish with a one-handed jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. The chosen one shot is good. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Here's Jordan. He's got five. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. The three is up. Nails it from three. Jordan's got his third basket on the night right there. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. They're both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. The first free throw is good. <laughs> He's perfect from the line this time. And for the Lakers, they're shooting it at 61%. A terrific average. That's his second personal foul for a team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles. At the line for two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. 12 seconds left in the first half. And here's Junior outside. No luck on that one. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers earning this break in the action up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, for the Clippers, this could be the pivotal game in this series, and they're playing like it. 
They may not be running away with it just yet, but you could just sense in the first half how focused they are on grabbing that two games to one lead. And let us get your thoughts, big fella, on the Clippers. They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end. It's taking a lot of pressure off their starters. What a luxury to have a second unit they can produce. And Kenny, how about what you saw from the Lakers? They really got to turn the intensity up in the second half. You look at their free throw differential, it's a big gap. They need to be more physical and start earning more fouls. Thank you for joining 2K Sports and our coverage of this first round. And so in the game for the Lakers, and it's O'Neal in at the five, down low. Oh, oh, oh hey, how about that? That's impressive. Wow, that type of finish is just deflating right now for a team that's trying to make a comeback. Ouch, that's certainly a big-time finish right there. It was one big exclamation point, or maybe even a question mark. And he gets the bucket. He has six. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. Here's O'Neal. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Pass to the chosen one. There's the triple. Pure from three-point range. And the Clippers lead by 13. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Oh, excellent way to pad the lead. Yeah, especially when it's your one throwing it down like that. Oh, yeah, his teammates love that one. I'm sure he's going to hear about it when he gets to the huddle. Three-pointer off the mark. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. And that one's good. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Here's ABC. Got it. Making the easy shots and the tough shots. He's on top of his game. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. And they'll get another chance. Great positioning on the putback. Oh, phenomenal hustle. He has a knack for those boards. Man, he is tenacious when that ball goes up. And the whistle blows on a backcourt violation. Went over and back. Lee, he's checked in for the Clippers. Coming on to the floor for the Lakers. Knocked away. And here's the pass break. Here's ABC. Back to Lee. Pass to ABC. Fires the three. And count it. Now five for seven. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. It's James on the wing. Back to Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by James. Jordan's got ten points in the game. Well, how about LeBron reading the defense, waiting and being patient there until the gap opened up to deliver. ABC. James with the block. Over to the wing. Here's G going inside. Got a hand on it. Here's Magician. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. The Lakers have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. Jordan, the pass to James. It's good from about 19 feet. He's got nine. 
terrific effort from him really all night. Yet despite his supreme marksmanship, they're still operating at a deficit. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. At the line for your Clippers. First free throw is good. At the line for two. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 103 left in the third. Pass to Pack. And he goes in for the dunk. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And here's Junior. Driving inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. The line from LA, number 21. And he makes it first. And both free throws good for Junior. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. The Lakers have gone 8 of 10 in the third and look at in control. It's stolen away. The finish. And Junior throws it down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Here's James. He missed there. His first misfire in five tries. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. On the wing, Junior. Takes it inside. And Junior throws it down. He's just an aggressive finisher there inside. Hey, when you got bounce like that, you feel like you can take on anybody. Pass to Pack. James, left side. And he's going for the oop here. Yeah, LeBron on the alley-oop. Great getting loose on the backside, and what a pass. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. We'll be right back after this word. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Thanks for joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. They've got Junior, and it's man in at the one. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Pass to James. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Well, it looks like he's got just one of those good feels tonight. That means trouble for the opponent. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Clippers. Defensively, they've played with a high energy level tonight. And all the steals we've seen, a result of that aggressiveness. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten. And for the Lakers, they're shooting an insane 65%. Just terrific. No good that time. And for the Clippers, they're shooting an unreal 60%. That is what I'm talking about. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Just an incredible display of power. He attacked the rim with both hands. Most definitely, that was a thunder dunk. Wow. Oh, oh everybody up for that my one. goodness. You could just feel that coming. Wow. Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Mann. 
Pass to the kid. Shot clock at five. Back to man. For three. G with a rebound. The Lakers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Well done on the glass. Gets himself in position where he can use his size. Here's money. Back to man. Here's Junior. There's the block. Here's Drew. An absolute bomb from three-point range. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Right. Timeout called. The Clippers. Both teams will make substitutions. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He said to his players, you may want to get comfortable with this lead, but we can't afford that. That's when we get into trouble. Just keep executing the game plan and trust in one another. Ali, thank you. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. To the middle. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. His second person, first team foul. Shooting for Los Angeles, Shaquille O'Neal. Two shots. And he drops the first. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And for the Clippers, their shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. Slim with a bucket. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Pass to Jordan. Here's O'Neal. The rebound by Magician. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Tipped away. And they're on the break. He goes up. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. Oh, great job of getting in position to win a game. It's been an all-out effort for the squad. Timeout called. The Lakers. They're down by 17. 133 left in the fourth quarter here. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game. The defense has just looked utterly lost trying to slow him down. He's consistently just getting high percentage shots because of how hard he's working. He's doing pretty much whatever he can to get open and <laughs> making the most of those opportunities. Yep, and now they're going to the second round. He's in a zone and paving the way for his squad right now. Outstanding job by AD to get close to the basket, get the ball in great position, and force the defense to resort to fouling. That free throw, good from Davis. Both free throws good from Davis. The Clippers have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's the beast. Here's Slim. It goes again. His sixth basket and seven tries. These guys really stepped up and played their hearts out to finish the series on their terms. So it's going to be on to the next round for the Clippers. You know, their ability to protect the ball helped win it for them. Yeah, it really did. Less turnovers mean you can get more chances to score. All coaches tell you to value every possession. Davis. And Davis slams it home. Well, that just happened because of that insane dribble move by that tall drink of water. Breathless display. Pass to Slim. Here's ABC. And there's the drop. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, wow. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. A huge motivation, always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. The consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams, and tonight they just did not find it in this contest. 
Five on the clock. 4-3. The rebound by the Prodigy. Davis down low. From down in the low post, it goes. This is one of the things at his size that separates AD from the rest of the league. He makes all of those hard shots just look so easy and effortless. And with that win, they'll be moving on to round two. And they start out the postseason with a bang, a big-time victory. The attitude they came out with was aggressive. They wanted to set the tone from the jump, and they did just that. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Ali LaForce, Brent Berry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everyone.